Okay, so now we want to build the IK controls on the leg itself. So for this section, we actually don't need this reverse foot part at all. We're just going to put it on the main controls. So what I'm going to do is just build a layer here. And we're going to call this layer, just for now, it's a temp layer reverse foot layer. Hit save. And we're just going to assign that reverse foot to that into that layer. So add the objects there. This is simply so we can get rid of that and just not have it get in the way because it is difficult with having multiple objects in the same place to see what we're selecting. So what we can do is do that. Now, also just for this, we don't need the geo showing, so we're just going to get rid of that. Now, uh, creating the IK is really very simple. So what we have to do is just regular IK. Uh, we go to the skeleton tool and then we can go IK handle tool option box. Now there's a very important switch over here um, which we can see here. Uh, by default it's on SC solver. Now whenever we're putting pole vectors on our IK we always want to use RP solver. So for the first chain we're going to use the RP solver but then for the second two because they're quite simple we're going to use the SC solver. Now I say SC but I, the way I remember it is S for simple and R for rotate plane. Rotate plane means that there's a pole vector. Uh, S for simple solver, so we can just kind of select these. So first of all, we're going to use the RP, which is the one that we use for the pole vectors. So very simple to set up. Select the hip joint first, skip the knee. We don't actually click on the knee, and then come down here to the ankle and connect that. And you'll see that uh, IK handle is being made. And it's really slow, small down here, but there it is. We can move around that foot. Make sure you're undo and it gets back to its default position. <coughs> okay, so now we're going to hit Y just to re repeat that or go back to the skeleton uh, IK handle tool option box. And we're going to this time switch it back to single uh, or the SC solver. I've forgotten what that stands for. So now we can just actually click on the ankle joint itself and the ball joint. So we're just making an IK chain for only one sort of span of these joints. And you see our IK handle tool 2 goes down there. Hit Y again, and we're going to use exactly the same settings. So the SC solve for the last one as well. Click on that one. And then the toe. And now we have these three IK handles. Now, if we select them all together and move them around, you can kind of see how this foot is going to work. It's going to work like those joints are always kind of trying to, to seek what's happening there. And just to make this a little bit more obvious too, I might actually go in, make those joints a little bit bigger. So we can go into display, animation, joint size, and just globally make those up, come up a bit just so we can see them a bit clearer. <coughs> so you can see that happening there. Um, and that's really it. These are, are ready to um, parent in to the to the controls. So uh, let's do that in the next section.